So today in this video, we're going to be doing just a quick uh, Jet Direct card swap. Um, to most people, this was pro will probably seem like a uh, rudimentary thing or a very uh, easy thing to do, but we have clients that we service remotely that sometimes need help getting walked through these uh, these steps. So just real quick, it's just a this is your Jet Direct card. Uh, this is the communication card. Your J45 connection goes right in there. Um, I won't talk about any of the error codes. We're just basically talking about swapping the card today. Um, and as you can see, it's just um, sitting in a machine that's already unplugged. You always, always, always want to have the power off. Better yet, unplug the machine. So, real simply, all you really need to do is unscrew these two little hand screws here. Um, a lot of times people crank these down and you don't really need to. They just really need to go hand tight. Uh, especially for people that, you know, a screwdriver seems like a tool that would be around a lot of places, but I've come across people that didn't have a screwdriver and were unable to uh, get it out. So really these just need to be hand tightened down. They don't need to be cranked. Um, so once you get them undone, you just slide the card out. And there it is. So you just take your new one and obviously just slide it back in. And sometimes you may have a dead EIO slot on a formatter and you can always just unscrew this bottom one and put it in the bottom slot if you're having issues with some of the slots. Usually you'll just have this metal plate here which I'll take off just to show you. So usually you'll have a metal plate on there like we just had off. Sometimes there's not a plate on there. Someone may have removed it. There may have been a hard drive in there or something along those lines. Um, and you can just try a different slot if one of them is not working. So that is the uh, install, uninstall of the Jet Direct card for your HP LaserJet printers. This is the new style. Don't see too many of the old styles. And uh, it's as simple as that. Uh, you will probably have to obviously reconfigure your IP address. Best thing I always say to do is print off a configuration page. Uh, that will print off all the statistics on the printer and it will print a secondary page called the EIO page or the Jet Direct Card page and it'll have all your pertinent information on the IP address and subnet mask and all that stuff. Best thing to do is print that off before you put a new one in and then you can just manually go in to the, uh, the printer's menus and you can config the JetDirect card.